This video is how to show you on how to fix the GoGroove bass pole speakers. This is a wired version. Sorry, I had to cough there. And so it comes with two speakers. Obviously, uh, there's the bass, and this is uh, obviously clear plastic. This clear pa uh, plastic supports the actual speaker, and as we all know, this vibrates to emit sound. But what happens is that when this is high volume the actual plastic because it doesn't have much integrity it's not a m much of a support a usual speaker is encased in a box something like this so that it's firm and the only thing that's moving is the speaker so what happens is that this vibrates and it makes the actual plastic vibrate also so this is emitting a sound that sounds like distortion it's, it's pretty much a distortion from the speakers now I'm going to show you what I mean. So right now I have a video of mine, full volume. You're going to hear the distortion right now. This is going to be my first PC build. Um, as you can see, I am missing the graphics card. That's going to be coming soon. Uh, it's going to be a 1050 Ti. So I, I hope you caught that there. I'm going to show you how to fix this real easy with one or two rubber bands. And I'll show you right now. So here's the speaker again. I've put a thin rubber band at the very top so that it provides some sort of dampener of the vibrations here. Um, it's rubber so it's good at that and it's also compressing so that it dampens the vibrations. We're going to do this again. This is only with one rubber band, okay? And guys, so this is going to be my first PC build. Um, as you can see, I am missing the graphics card that's going to be coming soon. Uh, it's going to be a 1050 Ti GTX. Okay, so if you notice, there's still that sound, but we're going to put one more. We're going to see if it makes a bigger difference, okay? All right, so let's hear this with two rubber bands. And guys, so this is going to be my first PC build. Um, as you can see, I am missing the graphics card that's going to be coming soon. Uh, it's going to be a 1050 Ti GTX NVIDIA. All right, so if you can notice there, <clears throat> it's slightly reduced, much more reduced. I'm going to put a third rubber band and see if it spikes up. That distortion at the beginning, okay? Alright guys, so we have three rubber bands now. We're going to play this again. Same video. And guys, so this is going to be my first PC build. Um, as you can see, I am missing the graphics card that's going to be coming soon. Uh, it's going to be a 1050 Ti GTX NVIDIA graphics card. Okay, uh, and I'm going to show so you. I'm going to take off the rubber bands and show you how it sounds without anything sounds terrible and guys so this is going to be my first pc build um as you can see i am missing the graphics card that's going to be coming soon uh it's going to be a 1050 ti gtx nvidia same video so <clears throat> this seems to be a problem not specifically with this brand i would think that if you use any sort of clear plastic to be the housing for the actual speakers you're always going to have this problem so if you want the best quality speakers, don't get this. these speakers. Um, they go good with my PC build, which is fine. And I can always just have this, the rubber bands on there, where I, I don't care. Um, you can always get black rubber bands or red rubber bands so that it goes with this, whatever color. I just want to show you guys of the trick I found out on how to dampen the, the vibration of uh, the distortion that's being caused there. Okay. And thank you for watching. See you guys later.